Alright, so it's time to do some Western Digital hard drive shucking. I got the WD Elements 10 terabyte hard drive, got two of them. And the goal is to place them inside the DS220J uh, NAS station from Synology. I already took the hard drives, or rather the external drives, out of the boxes. So we're not going to need this anymore. Well, actually, let's take a look. Um, this is the information from the back in terms of model number and so forth, if you can see it here. I'm going to put it also in the description of, at the bottom of the video. Um, it's a USB 3.0 drive. Pretty straightforward. I already tested these to make sure that they work and are able to copy data over without any issues. I got an average of 200 megabytes per second transfer speed from each of these. All right, so let's get shucking. All right, so the plan with these is to get the case off in a way that just in case the drive fails, I can put it back in here and get warranty support on it. Um, so we're gonna try to be extra careful. Just gonna use a gift card to try to pry this. These have two clips on each side that need to be taken off. All right, so this side is off. Doesn't look too horrible. Let's try the other side now. Just run this around, a little bit of force. Just push down the clip and twist. All right, we got both sides off. Now we're just gonna slide this off this way. There we go. So let's just make sure that we did this right. There's our drive. And here's our case. Looks like both clips are intact. Just have some residue. I believe there was a little bit of glue here to hold this in place. Um, here's a drive, 10 terabyte. Western Digital WD101 EMAZ made in Thailand. It's a white label drive. Uh, I'm gonna try to compare this to other drives online to see if this is a, I guess, disguised red label drive or not. But at this moment, I have no idea. So we'll have to do some research. All right, let's. Take the other one apart. So here's one. All right, so trick. Put the card in the back, sometime somewhere in the middle and just wiggle it, move it back and forth. There we go. And just slide it along the edge. There we go, that's one. Slide it back here to the bottom. Just twist a little bit. Same on the other side. And you want to angle it towards the center. 
so it pops in a little bit easier. So out and then in. Run it up to the top. Just keep moving it around until you get the clip out. I think we actually lost the clip on this one. So again, just be gentle so you don't break the clips. Once you get two clips on each side off, you should be able to slide this off. There we go. And here's our other drive. So on this one, we made a little boo-boo and we broke one of the clips. That's okay. Here we go. We have two overdrives. Let's take a look. Uh, manufactured date, we have July 20th, 2020, July 18th, 2020. Um, I bought both of these in November of 2020. Both are made in Thailand and both are the WD-101 EMAZ model number drives 10 terabyte like I said. Let's take a look at the back. So on the back we have the actual drive, small board, uh, I guess just a control board for the external portion of the drive. Um, a little fiber optic piece of plastic for the activity LED. All right, let's take the rest of the drive out. So we'll put one to the side. All right, so now we gotta take this drive out of this plastic. So first we'll take this fiber optic looking thing out, put it to the side. Um, the entire drive is held in place by these rubber pieces along every corner and this outer case is actually pretty flimsy so we'll have to be careful but slowly push it out. This one just popped right out and do this side. So really just push on on the left of the drive and it'll pop out just like this. So you have your case, you have your drive, take these rubber pieces off and we're almost there. We almost have a bare drive. So next um, we will have to take off this board. So it is Phillips head. And take our cheap uh, electronics toolkit here. Let's see. Take that off. Flip it around. Take this off. And the way this works is it actually plugs into the SATA and power port on the bottom. So you have to slide it out towards you this way. So just slide, comes right out. And as far as I'm aware, this particular model should not require any sort of um, modification to the pins. It should just slide right in and work, but we'll see. And now time for the other drive. So same thing. Make sure you don't lose any screws or pieces. Just put everything together, get a Ziploc bag. Uh, we'll do that later. So again, take the drive, flip it over, take out the uh, fiber optic light. 
um, thing. Then push on the left side of the drive slowly until it pops out. And then just take the case off. There we go. Put all your pieces away. Make sure you don't lose any. Take your Phillips head. Two screws. Just like that. Um, you can take the bracket off first. Doesn't really matter. And then take this board and just pull it towards you. And there you go. We got two uh, 10 terabyte drives ready to be put into a NAS.